Guy, congratulations on the win. Back in Bellator, back in the win column. How good does this one feel? Ah, oh, feels great. Feels great. Great to not just be back fighting and being busy again, but a win. Um, yeah, a win, finally. And I know the last time we saw you, you were in the UFC, and I guess kind of talk me through the process uh, at that point in time. <laughs> Did, did you feel like uh, you know your your future was certain? Did you think that Bellator would be the next opportunity, or, or was there an uncertain period of time for you after your, your release? Mentally, I was just I was just more confused. I knew that I'm still young. I have a lot of skill, um, and yeah, I, I come to scrap. Um, so I knew. I, I mean, I, I knew I was gonna be fighting. I was just battling with myself mentally. Um, but yeah, I, I, there was no there was no hiccup in in my skill or anything like that. Um, yeah, I just you know I, I uh, glad to be back, glad to be on back in the win column. I mean, if you've been watching, you know what I mean. Yeah, and I'm sure at the time, like it sucked obviously to get to get released. Um, but you feel like it lit a fire under you a little bit. Um, obviously, going out there tonight and seeing you sit up here now, you seem like uh, you kind of have have a fire lit under you again. Oh, well, trust me. I mean. I don't ever take breaks. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's always a fire under me. I was more just confused on what the hell I was doing wrong, you know, and um, I made a move to Las Vegas. There's some, you know, the man behind you, um, I wasn't training with him anymore, who, who gives me a lot of my my um, my confidence. You know, if, he believe, if I know that guy believes in me, I know I, I'm, I can face anybody. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, there, there was a fire because, I mean, I left, I left my home gym, I moved to Las Vegas. So there were some changes that I made, and then I didn't win since I moved. Um, you know, I took a fight on seven days notice. You know, that's a chance I'll, I'm gonna take every time. And then I lost two weird fights, which I didn't think I lost. There's all, I had all new cornermen in there. I had, everything was new, so I just, Training, training style was a little bit different. You know, so I was questioning myself a lot because I thought I was winning these fights, but I also made a lot of changes in my camp, which was, you know, which, I, but I, you know, I kind of just got back to myself. Um, just just start, just, you know, listen to the, the, the regiment that my cousin gave me, trying to mimic what I had back home as much as I could. And yeah, he was here tonight. My other cousin was here tonight, and my head coach, Eric Nixick, was here, which, I was glad to have them back. Sure. And was that the kind of battle you were expecting? A kind of a back and forth brawl with John? Um, not really. I knew. I mean, I knew he was gonna be moving away the whole time, so I just had to be smart. I didn't, couldn't just freaking go in and get crazy with him, just because you know he's on, he's gonna be riding the fence the whole time, and I didn't want to put the pressure and then run into something stupid, which I did. Um, so I just had to re result and be smart between the rounds until we take him down. And I'm a wrestler, I'm an NIA college wrestler, so I don't know if you guys know, but that's, wrestling is my base. And yeah, I'm glad to be back in Bellator, glad to be back to my wrestling. Thanks. Hey Kai, great performance. You know, you came back to Bellator, you, you know, you, you announced yourself back. You know, you were throwing a lot of those leg kicks to the body. You know, were those part of the game plan, you know, trying to establish that? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's a kickboxer, right? Um, and I'm a wrestler, so I mean, I was trying to play, play the game, trying to kick him, make him grab my leg, make him wrestle me. Uh, he wasn't, he was just eating him. But yeah, that was, it wasn't more so for any other reason. I was trying to just dare him to grab it. And I knew he wasn't gonna grab it, so oh, kicking his body was gonna be open game. So, you know, like speaking, you're, you're 26, you know, you're growing up in the sport of MMA. How tough was that transition period for you, you know, going through the highlight of being in the UFC, you know, being in that uh, tumultuous period of not knowing what's next, and now, you know, coming here and winning, a, getting a victory in Bellator? Uh, I, I still, I mean, I wasn't worried about what was next because, I mean, I go with the best guys in the world back home in Hawaii at Extreme Couture, and I believe I'm amongst the best in Extreme Couture. Um, probably the, I feel like I'm one of the most talented, most promising out of there. So, I mean, and that's alone being away from back home in the garage. 
I'm already with a world champion, two-time world champion. So, with being in a different set of eyes, I, I knew I was one of the best. I wasn't, we weren't a fool of ourselves. Um, so I, I just was waiting for the call, and the day I got released, I had meetings with two big promotions already, and Scott Coker told me right away, pretty sure it was the day that everybody seen that I was released, he, he called me. I was poolside in Florida um, at PFL, and he said that I, I had a job. Pat, congratulations, great performance. Now, I'm curious, your opponents didn't seem to have much of an answer for your wrestling, so what made you switch that up in round three after two rounds of striking? Um, I think I felt him, like, I grabbed him at the end of the second round, and I just, I just, I just knew that, I, I mean, the wrestling, I just had a big advantage. I just, I didn't, I don't think I really got him down, but I knew that I, I could, I, went, I mean, a wrestler, once you get a good grab, um, you just, you know, um, and if he's, if he's watched some tape recently, he's probably seen no wrestling of me. And, you know, I'm a college wrestler, so, I mean, I always have that in my back pocket. This win seems a little emotional for you, and you keep talking about getting back to your best and you're feeling your best. What can Bellator fans expect when Kai is at his best? I think I'm good anywhere. I'm good on the feet. I'm fast. I'm athletic. I can wrestle. I can box. I can kickbox. And I don't think I'm anywhere near my peak. Congratulations on the win, Kai. Um, curious to know, I think it was the first round. It looks like you may have been briefly knocked or rocked. Uh, were you, did, did you at all feel that, or was that just kind of like uh, you just lose balance? Um, I think it was the second round. Yeah, second round, sorry. I think, I mean, he caught me for sure. He, you know, was, my, my feet felt a little bit jello, but I, I was right there. I um, managed to get my feet back on me, and it got back on me pretty quick. Chris, go ahead. Chris Connor. Pride, go ahead. Hey, Pride, ASAP, uh, ASAP Sports. First and foremost, congratulations on the win. Um, you, obviously, you had two takedowns in the fight. Do you feel like that kind of swayed? Because in terms of striking, you guys were kind of close. Do you think the two strike, um, the two takedowns kind of uh, weighed the judges, judges in your favor? Um, yeah, I believe so. I mean, I wrote him out the whole f third round. So I mean, he gotta be. All right, and then um, you obviously you're talking. You kind of were talking about how when you were released, you were kind of confused, and you had all this emotion. Um, did you kind of use that emotion in the in the in the, um, in the race to kind of prove to the UFC that yo, I, I'm legit. Um, you guys kind of messed up with me. Yeah. Um. No, I mean. The UFC is behind me already. Um, I'm gonna fight the same mentality. I'm just gonna come forward, and if you're gonna beat me, it's because I'm hunting you down, not because I'm on right. I'm not because I'm backing up. I'm gonna lose being the hunter. That's it. All right, guys. Last one, man. Next to the time.